Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Harris. Uh, welcome to Getting Wrecked, where we use, on this occasion, Southern history as a reason to get sloshed, um, which everybody loves. Sure. Uh, I'm with Mr. James West today, who is a member of a mystic society, which you are not allowed to know the name of, because those are the rules. And uh, he's pretty good at throwing them back. I'm gonna try and keep up. And in the meantime, we're gonna talk about Joe Kane, his wives, the day that we celebrate Joe Kane, and uh, that's about it. What you might be hearing right now is a parade going by. Joe Kane Day is a very mobile day, and this was after the Civil War. We had had Mardi Gras for a long time. Right. Then the Civil War came, and we stopped. So Shoot. the Union forces were here, Shoot. and um, Joe Kane, he was actually a clerk here at Mobile, a shipping clerk. Everybody was in down the dumps, there yeah. was no Mardi Gras. And so what he decided to do was he was like, look, we need to get over this. We need to continue, we need to let our spirit rise. Joe Kane and about six of his buddies decided that they were gonna dress up uh -huh. um, and celebrate Mardi Gras again. And they went out Mardi Gras day and they had a coal cart and they had horns and drums, and they went down the streets of Mobile, yeah. and they had a, a great time, causing all sorts of uh, all sorts of ruckus. Yeah, now Joe Kane, he took over the persona of Chief Slakabamarinico. <laughs> Say that again, Slakabamarinico. How did he come up with that? Do you know how he came up with that? That is an old Chickasaw chief marched to the streets to let the Union soldiers know that the South would never die. Him going out and doing this, yeah. because there were laws enacted, you know, where there was not to be any uprisings. Oh, okay. So, him- Good, good law, by the way. Him going out, yeah, yeah. That's I think. a solid law. Don't uprise, don't even rise. <laughs> right? Stable, very stable, yeah, genius. just chill out. Right. So, what he, uh, he did, he could have been arrested for. But, oh, okay. you know, he kind of did it very lovingly and yeah. frivolously, and it's like, ah, we're just having a good time, and wow. all that stuff. They did it for several years in a row. Yeah. Next thing you know, Mardi Gras has gone back to Mobile, and here we are, well, what, what, what 200 time? years later. So it was about, yeah, okay. Do you think Joe Kane drank as much as the average Mobilian on, during Mardi Gras? You know, Joe Kane actually, he paraded till his death. Okay. He was in several different Mardi organizations, started one of the oldest ones here at Mobile, and he paraded every year until his death. So now my understanding of Joe Kane is that he had like and I'm I think I'm wrong on this. I thought he had like, you know, ten wives or something, right? But then they say that because they call them the Joe Kane widows, and there's these women that mourn his death. Were those girlfriends, were they widows? I don't even know anything. Like, I mean, was he a philanderer? Well, there's actually a couple of groups. There is the Joe Kane Mary Widows. Okay. And then there's the Joe Kane Mary Mistresses. Ooh. So apparently Joe Kane was quite the, uh, I don't know if I can say the word, pimp. Uh, but pimping ain't easy. You, you, know? you gotta keep it strong. <laughs> pimping ain't easy. The Joe Kane Day. The Joe Kane procession, mm -hmm. it's the people's parade. Okay. Because you have a lot of walking groups that can get involved. Yeah. Uh, a lot of your Mardi Gras organizations, Mardi Gras organizations, um, you know, secret societies and such. And there are secret societies on Joe Kane Day. Yeah. However, you know, it's, it's more of a loose type parade. It's the longest parade during Mardi Gras. Okay. Because you have people that get in that it has it started back in the 60s is basically anybody that showed up with any sort of float, you know, yeah. whether it be a homemade or whatever, they could get into it. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Joe Kane, I mean, Joe Kane brought the people together. Yeah. It brought a lot of, a lot of people that had been beat down by the Civil War. Yeah. To come together, to cheer, to have a good time, and just, and just, you know, enjoy life. Right. And that's what he did. I mean, he succeeded. I mean, we, I mean, how many years have we had a Joe Kane Day? The we the 1800s, late 1800s. So we're talking like 200 years, possibly. Yeah. yeah this guy. Yeah. Joe Kane's the man. Yeah, he's the man. So I hope everybody enjoyed getting wrecked. 
tonight. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Hope you, you learned a little bit about Mardi Gras and Mobile Mardi Gras. I hope you learned a little bit about Mardi Gras and Mobile Mardi Gras. And, <laughs> and Joe cheers. Kane. And Joe Kane. And all of his women. Cheers to you all. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining us.